Hey everyone, welcome back to another vlog here today. I'm going to be starting off this vlog in the kitchen because um, I'm actually making myself some coffee real quick um, with our new Nespresso. Um, I want to actually show you guys real quick. So we just bought a Nespresso yesterday. So first of all, yes, we literally have three coffee machines in this household. So there's that. But we just bought this yesterday, so I'm really excited to try it. Um... I'm gonna obviously fill it with water and everything, but um, I don't know where to set this camera, you guys. So, like, it's just gonna have to stay there for a minute. I'm sorry. But let's see here. So, the directions say to add, I have to leave in 15 minutes. The directions say to add filtered water to the um, reservoir. More than enough water, but all right, we'll go ahead and put that back on. Put the lid on. Let's turn it on to start heating up. Um, I'm gonna make an iced espresso, so or iced coffee, I should say. It's not gonna be necessarily espresso, but I need to put it in a to-go cup. So I gotta look in these cabinets for my cup because. I have some errands to run before I go to school. And then I'll probably honestly be at school until like the sun goes down, you guys, because I got like so much studying to do, so there's that. All right, so what I'm gonna do to prepare my iced coffee is I'm going to take this Starbucks cup and I'm just gonna top it off with ice first. So that way it's good. I think I'm gonna add cream first, too, you know? Just to have it at the bottom. Okay, shut up, please. So I'm just gonna take some cream and, um, just a little bit at the bottom, just about that much. We'll just, we'll just play it by, whatever. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in a glass. Or a coffee mug, I should say. All right, let's just see. Okay, we're just gonna put it in this for now. How do I open this? I'm gonna try the vanilla flavor today. So when you buy it, you get this little starter kit thingy. So I'm gonna try um, the vanilla, which is this one. It's the gold cup, or the light, whatever, it looks like vanilla to me, so. Um, one thing I don't like about this Nespresso machine so far is that you have to buy the pods online and they're kind of expensive, but my mom tried one last night, and it's really good, so I'm going to show you guys how it works, because I don't know if anyone's familiar with it, because it's kind of different than a Keurig. Oh my god, I can't even hold my camera. So here it is, I just opened it. So you put the pot in, um, you close it, and then you line up. Oh my god, I can't do it with one hand. Ugh. Like that. And now it's going to start brewing, I think, after I push the button. So we'll see how this goes. I got obviously this sitting here for when that's ready because I don't want to like add it right away. So it's doing its own thing right now. I don't know what's going on exactly. Oh, there it goes. Ooh, it looks really good. So what I was reading is like that the, the Nespresso machine instead of just like pushing the water through like you can hear it like spinning it spins a little cup around to like extract the coffee so that's why it's so loud so we're gonna see it's like really strong coffee too so it's good I think that's why it's so expensive too but it tastes like honestly like you're going to Starbucks and like making it's like you're a barista at your own house in a way you know And this is what it looks like so far. Obviously, I need to add a little bit more cream. I don't know why it's not like picking up so well, but there's that. I'm gonna add some more ice into it because that was some hot. Oh, this ice tray. Oh, I 
can't even do this. Okay. I need to add a little bit more milk, I think, because that does not look light enough for me. Oh shit, I just spilled it everywhere. Okay, but, okay. Let's see how it tastes, you guys. Okay, so this is like the final product in a way. It's actually really good. It's very like bitter though, so I might have to add just a little bit of like sweetener. This is just vanilla or vanilla sugar-free syrup. So let's add just a tiny the tiniest amount in there. Okay. Oh. Alright. Um, Alright, so you guys don't even know like how many times I changed my outfit this morning and I ended up wearing like the same thing I always wear. I'm like so picky with my outfits, I don't know why. Like I was gonna wear this really nice H&M sweater I just bought, but I'm, like, I'm really not feeling a sweater today. I don't know why. This is good. This is fucking bomb, you guys. Oh, what my god. What did I just create? I don't know. But that is fucking bomb. So basically, here's my homemade, authentic, like, iced espresso. Or, um... Iced coffee, I guess, or I don't know, iced latte, whatever you want to call it. Oh, I still need to eat breakfast. Oh my god, I don't have time. So I'm going to show you guys real quick what my breakfast is going to consist of. It's obviously going to consist of some coffee. This is a leftover egg um, breakfast scrambler burrito. It's literally just like egg whites and a little bit of cheese. And I'm going to eat it with some... Um, Ivod, if you guys don't know what this is, it's kind of like ethnic food. It's basically a pepper spread, which is really good. I love this. My grandma usually makes this, but we haven't gotten some in a while, so you can buy this in certain stores. So, cut this because I think you can buy it. I know they sell it at the Vincent Joe's Better House now, but um, they sell it like ethnic stores too. Certain ethnic stores, I think like European, um, I don't know. So, there's that. I'm heating that up. I'm gonna eat that, and then I have to go. I have to go to um, Kohl's and Macy's and the bank before school, so I've got a lot to do. So I'm bringing you guys with me. Um, alright guys, I'm on my way to Kohl's right now. Um, we, me and my mom, like, stayed up till, like, 1 in the morning last night because Kohl's had their, like, um, early Black Friday kind of, like, sale, and we ended up buying, like, a Dyson for, like, literally 50% off, so I'm going to pick it up right now. Um, I need to stop at the bank, too. I might have to stop at the bank first. I'm not really sure which side the bank is on, so I'm just going to stay on the right. I think Chase is... Alright, I hate these roundabouts. There's two roundabouts right in a row. It's so annoying. Alright, where is... That's Bank of America or something. America Bank. That's not... Oh, it's right here. Okay. Never mind, guys. I got it. I got it. Gotta go to the bank again. I just missed the blinker. That was so embarrassing. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna be uploading this vlog Friday. So I forgot to mention this earlier. So today's Monday, so I'm gonna upload this Friday for you guys because this week's kind of be, gonna be a little hectic for me, so I don't know if I'm gonna have a chance to film. I think I already have a video scheduled to go up on Wednesday. Like, it's like my H&M haul, and then this is gonna be going up Friday, so I think you guys will be okay for the week. And over Thanksgiving break, I'm going to be um, pre-filming videos anyways, like, um, for the whole... How does this bank work? Okay, um, but you know what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna, ma I'm gonna make some new videos for you guys to be uploaded soon. Um, and, yeah. I'm just gonna go deposit this money real quick, and then I'm gonna go to Kohl's. Good job. Oh my god, why is everything so busy? Why is no one going? I'm so confused what is happening right now. I don't know what's happening. My nose itches really bad right now, you guys. I'm just trying to go in and get my things. I don't get why it's... Oh my god, you guys can't even see me, can you? My mom said the online pick orders are at the second. I 
exit and entrance. So let's see. I'm just gonna park here and see, but... Why am I putting a blinker on the fucking parking lot? Like, that isn't even... That's so extra. Yup, look at me, I even get my own parking spot. Buy online, pick up in-store customer. That's me. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go just pick up the vacuum really quick. I really just wanna be in and out because I still have to go to the mall and do another pickup from online. So I will be back and you guys will see me loading up the freaking Dyson, okay? So I just picked it up. You can see which one it is. It's just a cordless vacuum thingy. Oh. Jeez Louise. You guys, like, hold on a second. Let me just set y'all down. Oh, don't zoom in, please. So, literally, every person in that thing was an old person, but like, they're just so rude. Like, I went right into, the, like, there's two separate lines, okay? There's one for online pickup, and then there's one for, like, returns and exchanges. So, I start walking in the store, and this is, like, this old lady behind me. And she literally tried to get in, like, she was, like, she literally ran to get in front of me to get in the return lane. I'm like, relax, hunty. I am going to the online pickup lane. But thank you for trying to, like, get in front of me anyways. I mean, shit, you couldn't have waited one more person length if I had to do a return. Like, I just don't get why people are so crazy. Why are these people allowed to go out in public? Like, what is... I, I have absolutely zero words for people. Like, I feel like every time I'm vlogging, I'm talking about this. And I feel like you guys would understand, okay? Like, people are crazy. It's disgusting, okay? I am, like, never rude to anyone unless they, like, start throwing attitude at me. Obviously, I'm gonna throw attitude back. But besides that, I'm a pretty nice-ass person. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Also, this coffee, I said it earlier, and I'm gonna stand by, is really bomb. Really bomb. So now I have to go to Macy's do an online pickup there, which, there's like two Macy's stores at this mall, and I think I have to go pick it up at the other Macy's, not the nor not the main Macy's. So I have to try and figure this out too. But like, besides the point, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm gonna do later, you guys. So I have to go to school. Class starts at like 1.20, but like, that's the only class I have today. It's literally like 45, 50 minutes long. So I'm debating, I'm like, should I just go to the library and study for my exam on Wednesday, or do I just go home and study? Like, you know, like, I don't know if I wanna like stay there and study or if it's just better for me to go home and study and like be in my own bed. I'm not really sure. All I do know is, all right, well I'm pulling into this lane. So if any of y'all people change lanes and almost kill me, I'll sue you from the grave. I'll like this lady. Well, I'm just kidding, I can't cause. Um, oh, it's hot in here. Okay, I know I wear this jacket. Like, this is my new, like, kind of winter-ish jacket. So if you guys see me wearing this in a lot of vlogs, it's gonna, they're all gonna look the same because of this jacket. But I'm, like, differently, I'm wearing clothes, like, different clothes underneath, you know? Like, it's just, I don't know. I just look back at my vlogs. And I'm like, damn, it looks like I wear the same shit all the time. Okay, well... got back into my car. I'm about to, I guess, head over to school now, but, um, I just kind of want to make some things clear on my channel. So you guys know that this channel is, albeit kind of small, like, that's not what I'm worried about, but, like, I'm focusing my channel on 110% realness. Um, I don't want anyone to ever think, like, I am deceiving anyone because everything on camera is literally my exact life. Like, I don't fake anything. I don't 
talk about things that like didn't happen and just stuff like that and like I just want to say like this year has been like insane oh <clears throat> god it sounds like I'm crying but I'm not this year has been like insane for me like everything wise okay so 2017 has definitely been a year of me realizing um, the wrong and right people in my life um, where I want to head in life, what my goals are in life, and just a bunch of other things that like it's kind of hard to like talk about all within a uh, within a vlog. Um, but like I said, I like I want to keep my channel 100% real. I want to I want to be I'm gonna talk to you guys the way I want to, and I don't want to like ever. I don't even know how to explain. Like I just want to be who I am on a camera, no matter what. So. Yeah, there's just been a lot of toxic and fake people within, throughout the past few years of my life. A lot of changes have happened. Um, I've grown so much this year. You guys probably can see that if you watched even earlier vlogs, how much of a person I, I feel like I've changed and become, <clears throat> which I'm really extremely proud of, of who I've become so far. And I don't even know, it just, I just, I do not tolerate fake people, and <clears throat> this year has been pretty, pretty, in a way, lonely, I guess, but, like, I'm not complaining. Like, I genuinely like being alone. Why do I feel lost? I genuinely like being alone, okay, you guys? Like, I don't need friends. I don't need anyone. Like, I'm fine on my own. Like, I don't need to have... I don't like to surround myself with people to make myself feel better. Like, if I'm gonna surround myself with people, it's because I just genuinely want company and want to make, like, memories and stuff like that. Like, I don't need anyone. And a lot of people don't realize that. What are you doing, sir? Thank you. A lot of people don't realize that. They feel like you owe them something or you can't ever be alone. Like, fuck that. You can do whatever you want. It's your life. Don't listen to what anyone has to say about anything. Honestly, live your life the way you want to. Stride to make goals. Stride to make your life comfortable. Stride to make your life happy for you, not for anyone else. That's what my message is, okay, you guys? As cliche as it sounds, there's just been a lot of real like things I've been realizing lately and like seeing who is there for me when they're there for me and who isn't there for me when I need it and who who cares and who really doesn't care who's using you who isn't using you it's just on and on and on so I took it upon the liberty of myself to go ahead and not associate with people like that um, and I don't see nothing wrong with that like I said there's nothing wrong with being alone having no friends having like there's no need having friends is just like I don't know I just it's not for me you guys it's not. I've said it many times on this channel, but it's really not for me. Like, who cares? People will backstab you. People will spread shit about you. They'll talk shit about you. No one has any loyalty these days. It's just really disgusting because I'm not like that. And, like, it's really... It sucks that it's really hard to find real people in today's society. So it's really annoying. Um, but besides the point, I kind of want to end that rant because I feel like I'm just talking about it for too long. I just wanted to let you guys know how I'm feeling today. It just, I don't know why it hit me all of a sudden. I'm like, wow. Like, I have gone through a lot this year. And I think, personally, I took it really well. I think I've handled everything extremely professionally, extremely adult-ish. So, there's nothing for me to complain on my end. Um, I just don't know. It's just... I'm excited to see what 2018 brings, I guess. I'm a little... I'm, I'm just really focused on school and stuff like that so it's just difficult trying to balance that with like your everyday life and trying to find free time and stuff like that but I mean it is what it is you work towards your goals so you can live a comfortable life with and make money and doing something you genuinely enjoy so that's all I'm keeping my eyes on like keep the eye on the prize that's all I'm focusing on and I'm also focusing on my YouTube channel and I'm focusing most importantly on myself so that's all I have to say about that. Um, it's okay to treat yourself. I do all the time now and just treat yourself, live your life. Don't live today for tomorrow. But 
also plan for tomorrow, if that makes sense. I don't even know. All right, I'm so sorry about this weird lighting, you guys, but like I just got to school and I still have a whole hour until class. So I'll probably just sit here and honestly watch YouTube videos until class because I've had nothing else to do. But right now I'm just responding to a few emails and texts that I've missed. And that's really it, you guys. I don't know, today's just kind of an off day, I don't even know. All right, everyone, since I literally have, oh my god, this lighting though sucks. Since I literally have a whole hour before class, I kind of want to do like an outfit of the day for you guys, just because that'd be really neat. Um, I'm gonna try and see if it'll work in here. Can you guys see me okay? All right, so, I'm wondering if I should just stand outside the car and do it, but I feel like that'd be embarrassing if people catch me. But anyways, I am wearing this white um, jacket. You guys know if you've watched my videos from CJ Maxx, it's Tommy Hilfiger. Um, I'm wearing just this scarf, um, this black tee that I got from Forever 21 a while ago, um, this gold necklace I have, um, and then I'm wearing, let me show you guys, these new black jeans I just picked up from H&M, which you guys, if you guys watched um, my H&M haul, you will see later on that I actually bought these and they have like rips and stuff in them. So they're like really, really trendy, I feel. And then I'm wearing my black Tims with these. So it all just, I feel like looks, these are leather by the way, they're not like the suede ones. Um, but I think like all together, it just looks like a very well put together outfit. At least I would hope. Um, so yeah, that's that. I am, like, in love with this scarf, you guys. I'm living for it. It's so, like, bougie. Like, I don't know. I'm living. Um, this lighting is really bad, you guys. I'm so sorry. Also, I took the little things that are on the side of my camera that was, like, I don't know if you guys watched my vlogs, but, like, you hear, like, this rattling noise from my camera every time I, like, pick it up. Well, it's, like, these little clips that are on the side of the camera so you could hook up a strap. But I found out you could like literally take them off. I didn't even know that. So now like, hey look, I can move my camera and there's no rattling. I love it so much. Hopefully the quality is a little bit better for you guys. Um, oh my god, I literally just thought my reflection in there was another person right up to my window and I almost screamed. But I didn't, so. Um, the time is literally... <laughs> it's only 12.31. Class does not start till 1.20. I don't know what I'm gonna do, you guys. And now I'm debating like too, like do I want to stay after class and like just go stay in the library the whole time and study until like it's literally dark out? Or am I trying to go home? I haven't decided yet. I just need some more coffee now. I'm like halfway done with it. It needs a little bit more ice, but oh well. You know what one of the best feelings is you guys is going to Bath and Body Works and getting a brand new Wait a second. I just had it on my hand. Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. Buying a brand new... Oh, this is a different scent. Flannel. What does this smell like? This is a new scent. I don't know if I'm feeling it or not. I usually use the mahogany teak wood, you guys, for my car. So let's see. Ooh, I don't know if I like this. I really don't know if I like this. I think I like... I like that mahogany teak wood. But it's out. Like, it's literally out. Like... But this is a really old one that I have in my car. Wait a second. They're both old. Ooh, they smell really gross. Yeah, I need a new one. I'm just going to use the flannel one. I'll have to go pick up a new one soon. Whatever, but here you guys see how much time I have to kill. I'm going to put this in here. I forgot if it's bubble down or bubble up. I think it's bubble down. I don't know. Let's see. Let's just put this on. Oh, I'm mad. i got to stop at Bath and Body Works now. I should have just kept it off. Oh, my God. Can't even, when you're too fat to literally even get out of your car. So like, 
I've made my decision and I think I'm just gonna um, go home after. Why do I feel like this is zoomed in, but it's not. I'm just gonna go home and just study in my room or something. I don't know, I don't feel like staying here all day. And then, yeah, I don't even know you guys. It's just like, whatever. I tried you guys. I stayed for like an hour. I had to go. 